Hey everybody, Catherine again, and I'm back this time with, we call this our spaceship. <laughs> and in a minute, I think you'll understand why. Um, but the age old problem, right, is that how do I get dinner um, on the table for um, when I'm not home, right? When I'm not home, that is a problem. Or I'm racing in and out and I've literally got less than 30 minutes. How can I make that work, okay? And so I'm gonna talk about just a couple of our power tools. We do have uh, more, but I'm gonna specifically chat with you guys today about the ones that really hit the home run when it comes to meal prep or squeezing those meals in in a short amount of time, okay? So this is our deluxe multi-cooker. Um, looks like this. Um, you have probably heard of an Instapot or a quick cooker. So this is essentially the next generation of that product, okay? Pampered Chef took, um, we had a quick cooker and they took that and a lot of market research of what is it missing? Um, so no different than how your smartphone, <laughs> right? Gets upgraded and there's new generations, same idea. This has simply got some more built in, um, you know, settings and what I love, love, love about the Pamper Chef products is how much they take the guesswork out of, well, what do I set it on? What do I put it on? All of that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna give you just a quick little tutorial and then I'm just gonna share how I use this um, because this and, and then I'll also go over the air fryer. These are the two things that are used the most in my house in terms of quick eating um, and not unhealthy eating, but just quick eating and then how I am cooking if I'm not home, okay? So this, um, it has a power button on the back um, and now you'll see like, right, it lights up. This is why we call it the spaceship because it is fancy. Uh, but don't let that fancy pants stuff um, fool you because what has happened um, in this appliance is all of these presets, okay? Um, I'm gonna just shift here just a bit for you guys. We're gonna turn this down. We're gonna look just at this, okay? <laughs> okay, so all these presets, okay? And these things you can, you can do custom. Um, they're sear, egg, poultry, beef or pork, seafood, um, white rice, whole grains, soup, beans, dessert, steam, slow cook, sous vide, yogurt, and sterilize. Whew, sorry for the crazy angles there. Okay, so point in case, um, a dinner, right? When you're gone, the, especially the, the meals that are on the, the menu, um, you can choose to slow cook this um, and you could do that. You could set this to slow cook. So you simply twist um, this middle, uh, this, this here, until we get to slow cook. This right now is set on four hours at high. If you wanna do low at eight or change that, you absolutely can. And when you decide, yes, this is what I'm doing, um, it's just a push, you kinda of hear it do that beeping, and that means it's starting, okay? Pressure cooking is another awesome option. So slow cooking is, is essentially, this would replace any crock pots in your kitchen, okay? I'm not a fan of a lot of appliances, and so I hear that a lot as well. It's like, I just don't have any room, and I'm like, I understand, um, nor do, you know, most people don't, but if you already have a crock pot, and you already have a rice cooker, and maybe you have a yogurt cooker, or a sous vide cooker, all of those can kind of get consolidated into one. And so, you know, this definitely is just a time when I think we can evaluate what do we have in our kitchen and is there a way we can consolidate um, into something, you know, kind of a three for one, four for one, that kind of a thing, okay? Um, so back to this, in terms of pressure cooking, you can choose poultry. The preset is for 15 minutes. If you need it a little bit longer, so if you're doing something with chicken and it's completely frozen, I would increase this time to, um, it's just a one click, maybe 20 to 25 minutes, depending on what you have in there. But that is all you're going to be cooking for, is 20 to 25 minutes. You're simply gonna put it in here, set it, start, and walk away, okay? <laughs> Woo! Um, beef. Um, we have the barbacoa and also the pork. Those are also, you know, here you would use those presets. It's a, a preset for 35 minutes. And that meat literally will just pull apart when it's finished. So um, just give you a little tour. This is a twist. Woo! 
whoops, sorry, it doesn't have anything in it. There's a little spot for the lid on either side. So if you're, you know, shimmying with cabinets, there's, um, you've got the room for that. This comes with a stainless steel pot. This can go in your dishwasher, easy peasy. Um, as can the lid. I do always recommend people take out, this is the, the seal. Um, and just to wash that, I have a, on my dishwasher, just like a very, very top narrow rack. And I just throw that on there. Um, because it's plastic, that's the piece that's gonna get, or you know, silicone you know, kind of pick up smells and odors way more than a stainless steel wood. So I do recommend, you know, always washing that. Okay, so that is it. It's just a simple, you know, put your food in, twist, um, and go. And so there's not just this, a um, couple of other things that have been built into this. The safety feature, um, if y'all remember those Instapots were kind of like, you had to put a, I, I always put a rag over it because it was like someone is gonna get burned from this. This is the steam release, but it is actually controlled from right here. And so you can push this and it will release steam and you don't need to be near, um, you know, the place where that steam is coming out. So that is an awesome, you know, safety feature. And I love that, especially for having youngers in the kitchen. Nice that it's not, you know, accessible to them. Okay, so let me see. Guys, I don't even use all the settings on this, but I will tell you, um, for the most part, I only use the presets and I simply adjust the time. Um, so, you know, it is so easy to use in that sense. Um, white rice, I like to cook jasmine rice, which takes just a little bit longer. That, um, the, you, you know, just your typical traditional white rice is a four minute, you know, it does have to get up to pressure. Um, and then it's a four minute cooking cycle. Um, I do eight for jasmine, but literally I could do cups and cups and cups of rice and it will just come out perfect, okay? So that's easy. Um, we do also carry some other accessories. I don't personally use them because I'm always cooking so much, um, but there are some that you can put, you know, your meat on the bottom and then a ceramic, um, it looks like a bowl <laughs> and it fits right in the top. So you can do your meat and your rice at the same time or your meat and your vegetables, super slick and super handy. Um, let me see, what else do I use this for? Um, soup, I do a lot of soup in the fall and winter. Um, beans, that is like essentially you can buy, you know, the very, very cheap dried beans in the bag, throw them in here um, and that cycle is 25 minutes and you've got beans ready to go. So I will often do that when I'm making things like chili or I do a, a sausage and bean soup. I will just buy the bags of beans, store them in the pantry, um, cook them in here, drain and rinse, put them right back in here and then make the soup, okay? So, and then just throw it on soup and it cooks, you know, all day or as long as I need it to. Um, Slow cook is your just traditional crock pot, right? It's think crock pot, it's a slow cook setting, high or low, and, and you can adjust the time on that. Sous vide is a French style of cooking. Um, essentially, you cook your food in water, okay? Really cool. Um, and we do recommend, you would put things in a bag, so you're not gonna just put meat in there. So like a silicone bag like this, you can use a Ziploc bag. Um, these are just a little thicker. I like them a little better for meat, um, just, you know, for lots of reasons. Um, but you essentially fill with water. Um, but you'd have your meat in here, and it, it will cook for about two hours, and then for the next two hours after that, it maintains the temperature. So this is actually, fun fact, how most restaurants cook their meat. They have it all kind of stabilized at the, at the same temperature. And so if you go to a restaurant and order like a steak, um, you know, they've kind of got it all ready. They simply take that out and they sear it um, or grill to finish it to whatever you order it for. So it might be cooked to like a rare in their sous vide and just kind of waiting. And then they will just bring it up to medium or medium well whatever you you know however you order your meat at a restaurant so fun fact like literally you can cook like a restaurant cook at home um, if you are a work from home or you get to go home for lunch you know um, for lunch at home this is an awesome option you literally could cook your throw your meat in here start your sous vide cycle and at dinner time it would simply be ready for a very quick sear on either side kind of finish it off and then you're done like literally less than five minutes so that is also an awesome option um yogurt 
really great. It does take a little bit of time, but you can make up to eight cups of yogurt um, at a time. It is so easy and I like to just make plain whole milk yogurt and then we just add things in. So that's another really awesome win for meal prepping breakfasts. You can make a bunch of yogurt and just kind of have, you know, things for yogurt parfaits ready um, or, you know, add in. My kids like to add honey or fruit. Um, lots of options, okay? And then for those of you that are either um, wanting to sterilize tools or if you have a baby at home and you have bottles and sippy cups and all that stuff, there's a sterilized cycle on this. So super awesome. Um, you just, you know, put a little bit of water in it. You run that cycle and all of your things are sterilized and clean. So that's a nice option as well. Um, all of our appliances, one second, <laughs> they do come with these awesome books okay and it's not just an instruction book it is an instruction book but it also gives you wow look at i got some stuff stuck on there so homemade yogurt for example it's going to give you the step by step of how to use that how to set the cycle um getting started recipes i always like to encourage my customers to start here um or ask i'm happy to help but this is such a great you know, here's all your different grains and rices, your different vegetables and what those might look like seamed um, time-wise. And then it's gonna go through all your meats. So it's got recipes, but also the, you know, kind of step-by-step of how do I use this, okay? So that is fantastic. I really love this for meal prep because either in the morning or, you know, at lunchtime, I can put dinner in and I can turn it on and walk away um, and it is hot and ready to go <laughs> in very quick amount of time. Um, or if you're a family that, you know, after school kind of hour is you're crazy running, 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 you could easily throw this in at, you know, that time and it would be ready. Um, we have friends that they eat dinner at nine o'clock because of all their activities. And I understand um, because we are in that same boat. Um, and so they, you know, utilize this in terms of just eating their family dinner at nine o'clock at night. So that's another option as well, okay? I'm gonna set this one aside and then pull the air fryer over here. All right, so air fryer. Once you have used Pampered Chef um, appliances, you will really get the hang. Uh, the middle button is that control um, center. So same thing, we plug this in. This is our button presets, 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 presets. Even my, um, well, he's now eight, but when he was you know, seven, could make like cinnamon rolls in here. I just would tell him which one to put it on. And then, you know, similar to the other one. Um, so if I say, you know, you're gonna bake, um, for maybe 10 minutes, one click, and then we start on 10, we push to start, and there it goes, okay? Um, so I think a common misperception about air fryers is that they're not for healthy food. And I do wanna challenge your thinking on that if you're kind of in that camp. Okay, it's warming back up. I'm just gonna unplug that because it's loud. Um, okay, so we do a lot of vegetables. We do a lot of um, roasted potatoes. Um, I will do things, the kids will do, you know, baking things. Um, they will, use, this gets used the most in our house. And a lot of times um, there is a handy, handy re reheat button, okay? So all of our leftover, um, leftover items five minutes 350 that is how we warm up leftovers at lunch so you know kind of we talked about earlier in class about you know kind of having a system for storing your leftovers that works so slick to just get your leftovers out warm them up and go um, the other thing I really love to use this for, which works awesome for meal prep, is you can do a rotisserie chicken in here. And so doing those and either pu you know pulling that chicken for salads or pulling it for sandwiches throughout the week, um, there is a spit that goes in the middle. And if that is something you are interested in, I have a whole nother little demo video on that that I would be happy to share. Um, but you can see it's a very big family, you know, family friendly size. Uh, it's got, you can put, you know, two racks in here. Um, see, dirty, kids were using this. <laughs> um, so they're, they're washable and um, 
I can't say enough about how easy this is to help your family to kind of feed themselves in terms of uh, reheating. I also do keep things around like chicken patties or you know chicken chunk, right, chicken chunks. So if we are in a hurry, um, we can throw those in. Even if I throw them on a salad or we grab those fresh vegetables that we have, you know, already cut in the um, in the fridge. It's just a super easy win to give. Um, you know, kind of get other people involved. And so because of this, most of my kids do a lot of their own lunch or breakfast cooking. They love using this and use it every single day. Um, and so, you know, it's not as much like the multi-cooker where you're gonna be able to cook a family size meal while you're gone. It is a fantastic solution for very quick meals, on the go, veggies. Um, you can do meats in here, um, like rotisserie chicken salmon and fish are really, really good in here. Um, we do shrimp, like coconut breaded shrimp, just a lot of different things that are easy to have ready in the freezer and then do either a reheat or a full cycle on so those are the two um appliances that you know i would really recommend in terms of you know i i understand they are appliances are always an investment um but they do save time um and just you know knowing that my kids can take simple instructions for using um the air fryer to you know, reheat their lunch or their dinner or make something is, is very awesome. It's a huge parent win. Um, and so that is what I have for you in terms of, you know, the power tools that are gonna save you time and do that cooking. Um, the multi-cooker, especially when you are not there, literally put, you know, throw it in, set the buttons, walk away. Um, this one is super awesome for those in the pinch times where you forgot to do, you know, anything or you're just so crunched for time to just be able to, you know, maybe throw something in here for five or 10 minutes when you have to go change between runs to places or, you know, whatever your schedule is. I know everybody is so busy. Um, so just that's how we use these appliances. They save us time. I think, you know, they do save us money um, because we are not eating out as much, right? We just don't eat out as much because we have these simple solutions in place to, you know, reheat um, the leftovers from meal prep or do like some meal prep in here, um, you know, early, like on the weekend and use it for the week um, and then just reheat. It's it's such such a time saver for our family um, and I believe it would be for yours as well. So definitely let me know what questions that you have on these two appliances um, and all of our appliance lines really do function that kind of the command center runs exactly the same. The technology and the built-ins um, are the same on all of them, which is so nice because you can go from appliance to appliance without really having to figure out um, you know, other than the individual, what setting, you know, you're, you're not gonna air fry in the multi-cooker and you're not gonna make yogurt in here, um, but in terms of how you get them going and the cycles, it, they've just streamlined it in such a way that it's really, really easy to use. So hopefully this has been a little bit helpful. Why don't you guys drop in the comments, let me know what you think either of these might help you with. Would they save you time? Could you do more meal prep and have you know full meals in the freezer and, and cook them in the multi-cooker when you're gone? Um, have things more, you know, maybe it's more the air fryer of I just need things ready to be able to be reheated quickly. Um, and so that's, you know, whatever works for your family. I'd love to hear your comments, also your questions. And then if these are something you're interested in, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I love working with customers to help find these solutions um, that work for them and at price points that they're you know in in line with their budget, so that it's a win all around. So, thanks for listening. Um, enjoy your day, and we'll see you soon.